Maida, 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 Noor. This is my friend, Maida, Noor. <laughs> Maida, thank you so much for giving me some of your time today. Well, in fact, the whole day. <laughs> I actually saved this day because I wanted to go to the exhibition and his gallery and I saved my day for her because I wanted to go with her and I did. Yes. And we really enjoyed it. It was an amazing exhibition. Please do go and do this up until the end of my favor. So do check it out. I'm going to share with you some of the amazing pictures that we took there. And I shared with you some of the amazing work that I find there for that work. And not only that, inshallah, Maida will do some new courses soon. But I leave it for you to wait and be check and just be patient until that happens. Then that will be our chance to learn those details that I tell you about. I can't even describe it, but honestly. Maida, just tell me briefly the parts that you do. Uh, so I do Arabic literacy. Um, my favorite script is Maghrabi currently. I just love working in Maghrabi. Another thing for my favorite is that I did my own research and I love Al Andalus and Africa. I find it fascinating. That's another reason. I've done painting in Maghrabi as well. And I do geometry patterns, I do some combination, I love working with details. I love the hotel artwork. And yeah, that's all Thank you so much. Thank you. All that time for me, especially. Thank you. Wait until I share with you some of that work that we saw, some of that work that Mike and Uda did. Inshallah. And bye from me and Mike. I'll share with you now some of the work that Maida Noor did. Um, you've seen some of the exhibition, or the work and the painted that we saw, and how amazing those details in each drawing. I actually wonder how long it used to take them to finish one piece like that. Um, but since I was lucky enough to spend my day with Maida, let me show you more of her work now. Enjoy it. You know, some people underestimate how long it takes for somebody to become a calligrapher. And they're like, oh, is that really that many years? How long, was, how long was the first kind of course for you that you took to start with? Uh, that was the, the practicing section. Um, I think that the, the sessions we take for 
practicing the calligraphy are the longest. So you can learn from a teacher, but as far as you are practicing at home for long, long hours, that's what makes it more special because this is something that's going to make a difference. It's time, time consuming, it needs dedication, it needs patience, and the whole exercise is about teaching you how to be patient and how to be, you know, like it, it, it's all about like reflection and at the same time you're doing flicker and it, it's just your me time where you're practicing and learning and reflecting and doing flicker and everybody has their own choice of things that they do when they're practicing so yeah it's just something that takes time but you have to have the passion for it that you enjoy it Talk about like you know, seven years. Would that be the amount of years that would start a calligrapher become, become, you know, a fully practiced calligrapher in a way? Uh, it depends person to person. To be honest, some people are quite good uh, already um, in their handwriting and skills or learning skills. You know, somebody can pick up quite quickly and learn it. And some people, it's just a slower process, so it just depends person to person. But yeah, seven years is sufficient amount, amount of time for somebody to get hold of calligraphy, but I can't say if they would have a certificate by the end of the year. And is that was the, the course that you just did? How did you discover it? How did you discover it? Yeah, how did you discover it? I discovered it. Randomly, it was the time when I probably didn't even know that it's called Arabic calligraphy from that time because I was just doing my own creative writing and I, uh, I was just writing one of the you know, few things that were close to me in Arabic and um, that includes some of the names of the love or some of the verses that were like quite close to me and they gave me like so I was just writing them and then one day I decided that I'm gonna do I'm gonna just colour them like probably I didn't really think that I just did it. And at that time I only had like one set of colour paints and I just made like tiny tiny pieces of Arabic legacy the watercolor. And that's how it started. So you started mainly with then you developed your art afterwards. Yes, but what happened is that when I did those 20 pieces, they ended up in um, a gallery, a nice place, Mika Gallery, and that was a very shocking moment for me. I had no, when I made them, I had no awareness of the art world. Or I never saw at some inspirational artwork here and there. I had an interest in art, so I was, it was a general thing, but never particularly in uh, Arabic calligraphy. So that was a big one for me. So from there on, I took it seriously. And you know, the, the gallery lady, um, she was very helpful in terms of grooming me and telling me, you know, and, you know, and I guided me to the right direction.